Brekte Hawa, Brekte Hawa Shai, Brekte Hawa, Brekte Hawa Shai. Bless you, Yahweh. And bless you in the name of the only God, the Son, Yahweh Shai. In the name of the Holy Spirit, our Spirit Holy. All praise and honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, Bashem Kodesh. Yahweh being the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world and he calls God, Jehovah. Bashem is in the name, Yahweh Shai is the only God and Son of the Heavenly Father, whom the world, ignorant, called Jesus Christ. His true name is Yahweh Shai. He the deliverer. Delivered for the nation of Israel. Hashem Kakadash, the name of the Spirit Holy, giving us the ability to the multitude of angels to assist us in understanding the scriptures. Of course, giving double honors to the apostles and others, great millstone. Go well, peace and salutation to the elect. Shemia Mahpa, Neza Mahpa, Mayan Gawal or Cup, Machana from the great millstone camp, simply playing tables in the city of Philadelphia. About what I'm the mighty might come a lesson little or a wee lesson. New York bearing signs of societal decay. Uh, beyond New York, it's uh, the entire uh, empire, but this is Babylon, America. <clears throat> and uh, New York uh, serves as like your, uh, like a hub, <laughs> you know, for this empire, empire state of mind. Um, you know, it's a major, major city um, for loads of wickedness, <clears throat> and um, time for Rita weekly reality check. And this is the real deal, because it's a reality check that your empire is going down. And also, we see, um, as we're gonna see, um what happens when your empire goes down so um we're gonna play this video it's fair use warning i do not own any of this footage sky news australia i'm only showcasing this video for educational purposes fair use warning man in the white jacket and black leggings is rampaging on a train. Looks like there are plenty of able-bodied men around watching. He targets a woman, sits... And as you can see, <clears throat> he, he grabbed that with a vengeance. Uh, that being the back of her heat hair. And um, he got a good grip on it, firm grip on it. Random chick. You know, these uh, independent women, uh, you know, they want to wear... Uh, very skimpy clothes, trousers, and you know, little tank tops. Basically, it's like a nighty. Yeah, this is the victim of the day. It's next to her and begins to assault her. What do you think happened next? Did the men on the train step in and protect it? And, and look at all it, like, in the backdrop. Another chick wearing nothing. Look like literally boxer shorts. Um, another, you know, I don't know what you can call that. That's pretty much a bra. I mean, uh, you don't think that when you are dressed like that, um, it devalues, obviously, um, you know, yourself. Because, I mean, you put yourself on an open display you know, for uh, the world, um, you know, for m many to lust after and such, you know, uh, you objectify yourself, you know, um, not having any modesty, you know, humility, and, you know, you just were strutting about pride and such, and many of you will go about without having a man, which a man would be a protection, all right, uh, hey, you has anybody asked why is this woman walking about going and gadding abroad on her own okay which uh, is uh, scriptural uh, we'll get that in um, the book of um, Ecclesiastes Let's see Say, so, um, hey, if you had a man there as a protection, hey, um, you would already had, uh, 
deterrent from a, a random man just grabbing your hair. Okay, you don't have to look for as what the commentator is going to explain someone to intervene for you, a complete stranger. Okay. Let's uh go back to the video and then I'll bring out the scripture. Close some of these other tabs in the spirit. Bring out that precept already. Matthew 24. Yahweh Shah already gave the warning, so this shouldn't surprise you. Okay, it says that in the last days, you would have these actions going forth. Okay. get the precept just give me one moment as I find it yeah this is uh, Matthew 24 and 12 it says and because iniquity which is sin upon sin multitudes of sin shall abound why is it being uh, how is it abounding well, well this civilization in general perpetuates it okay good is set as evil evil is set as good you know it's upside everything's turned upside down what's righteous is wicked What's wicked is righteous. Uh, when it, women can have um, all the freedom in the world to go about, about and travel, you know, on their own. Okay, not knowing danger befalls you everywhere. Uh, as, you know, this place, is, as um, especially Babylon the Great, is as the, uh, was it, the land of shadow of death. Valley of shadow of death. Okay, which the valley goes into a low land. All right, low what? And its moral values, okay, has become low. All right, this land, America, okay. Let's get this in the blue letter real quick. No, one is in Job. Psalm of Psalms. Um... This is uh, the book of Job, chapter 10, and verse 11. And it says, Before I go, whence I shall not return, even to the land of darkness. All right, confusion, obscurity, okay, and the shadow of death. All right, where death is uh, right, right there, right behind you, right, you know, nearby, okay, at any moment's notice, you know, judgment come, come down being fatality or fatal a land of darkness ignorance okay or shock in the hebrew as darkness itself in of the shadow of death without any order right without any order a woman shouldn't be walking about by herself okay that's one you know but hey that's fine you know she she don't have anybody to be her um uh, accomplice in <laughs> the different things she's doing. So, now, hey, she got to reap the consequence. And where the light is as darkness, right? Where the knowledge is as darkness, okay? Because it's common knowledge, A, hey, you know, uh, amongst those that have uh, understanding, you know, that a woman should be, what, keepers of the house. And, A, hey, if she is going out, A, hey, let her have a man there, you know, be a protection, Okay. Let's uh, go back to this video. Society decay. Babylonian <laughs> decay. Take this woman from the violent thug. Did someone bother yelling at him to stop? to show there was more of them than him? Well, no. The cowards watched as the terrified woman begged for help. Look, look at that grip. Five-finger grip. Help me. 
help me. Ain't nobody doing nothing. Look at that. And, and, and most of that was all girls on there, including the, the so-called men that on there. They're girls as women. Jesus Christ. So that's what comes with these times. Jesus Christ. Dude watching that's filming a video ain't even doing anything. And he has spirits on him. Look, dragging her wherever you want. You saw her there say, somebody, please help me. Excuse the video me. footage being so Nobody was interested beyond filming the ordeal. Now, thankfully, that woman was okay, and the assault did not end in her being yeah, she traumatized injured. Though. The maniac went on to kick windows and terrify more passengers. Yeah, spirits on. But what does it say about society that not a single man stepped in to help? Oh, oh, now it's all about men. Now, it's all about men. When you sit, your society uh, tells you uh, gender roles, genderless. Um, Gender doesn't matter. Uh, you know, you could classify yourself as whatever gender you want, or even sexless. But then you're then now you're looking for attributing protection to a man. Okay, and wanting men to rise up against other so-called men to protect women. It, it's great how the narrative fit when. It's for your own benefit. They allowed it to happen. Where are all the good Samaritans gone? Where have all the men gone? Perhaps folks on the subway are too distracted with all the signage on the trains to worry about an innocent woman being terrorised. She's not innocent. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. What you see here is a sign on a New York City train telling addicts not to be ashamed about their drug habit, but to be empowered by it. Opiate addiction is apparently uh, empowering now. Meanwhile, the governor is focusing on the really important stuff like genderless driver's licenses. Exactly. Yesterday, your See? governor posted. Because I even watched this whole video, and you know, due to spirit, are you know, it already talking about what I was talking about, gen all this genderless things, and all that. But knowing, you know, there's an actual order that been set. Okay. But with uh, E, you know, hey, th them things don't matter. But when it comes to the order of protection, oh, well, then, of course, it matters. Because men, all right, are supposed to be those alpha, you know, first, um, you know, protectors, you know, of the woman. Okay. Uh, let me get this preset. This is uh, going to be Wisdom of Solomon, chapter uh, 14. <clears throat> and it says here, Disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind, changing of kind. All right, you made in a set, certain kind. Okay, you got, of course, men and you got women, all right, biblically speaking, okay, male and female, disorder in marriages, adultery, and shameless uncleanliness, okay, For the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning and the cause, a beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. All right. You know, in these different spirits, is upon, um, of course, uh, the people, which, like I say, he, he worshiped these different androgynous spirits and, you know, carrying both traits from both genders and don't care about genders you know satanic agenda everything's upside down you know put self before the most high 
put women before men. Okay, everything is reverse being satanic. All right. Um. So. You know, with this whole, uh, well, open, openly changing of kinds, and you know, we're literally on documents. People are doing it. Hey, this is only biblical prophecy, and it's only an open uh, shame and our open, open um, actual uh, testimony of the decay of society. Okay, and that the, the, the scriptures are true. He spoke it before. Posted this saying, New Yorkers, you can now choose X as a gender marker on your driver's license. Every person deserves to have an identity document that reflects who they are. I'm not quite sure who X Right, and that, that is due to E is going to actually authenticate your, or is a document to authenticate that you are this. But you put that declaration to them and they will honor it. Okay. X reflects. <laughs> how um, who identifies as X, but you know, it's easier to make incoherent pronouncements than tackle a substantive issue like soaring crime on the subway and in the city in general, where the crime rate is up 60% according to government data released in March. And remember, as the scriptures say in Amos, shall evil be done in the city and the Lord have not done it. It's the Lord that brought the, the evil upon that bad time upon that woman and upon the city being the Babylon the Great. Okay, the Lord is allowing uh, his left hand to work. Okay. Which he's sanctioning these things to be done. Alright. He create the light, create the darkness, how the Lord does all these things. Okay. You read in Isaiah. At Amos 3 and 6. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord hath not done it? Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay? And we have the understanding due to the Lord. Okay? <clears throat> and then that was no innocent woman. If he was smart, um, you know, he... <clears throat> would take heat um, <clears throat> like say for example if if, <clears throat> if he had the spirit which he don't upon him thoughts of being beings being as having no gender being X you know whatever that is whatever you want it to be okay it tells you for four thoughts separate from the power all right which you know the brother good the water said the going into it the perverse thoughts they separate from the most high and this place has a whole complete perversion because the lord what he set a pervert as you read in isaiah the 19th chapter he has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of Egypt, Egypt being America, Babylon, okay? The place of our captivity, okay? Spiritually sought them in Egypt, okay? <clears throat> this is uh, Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 14. The Lord Yahweh has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of thereof and have caused Egypt to err or error in every work all right every work so where uh, men would protect a woman now he's not okay where a woman would seek protection for under a man she's not she's only seeking for his money his resources and that's what's messing with you chicks all right, you're only really seeking resources, you know, or somebody, a servant to do something for you, okay? Uh, other outside of the, his actual role, okay? You want to be that masculine figure everybody's scared of. Well, hey, now when it comes to uh, fighting against who you actually are against, you can't fight, okay? 
Because you were created to be what? The weaker vessel. Okay? Or create as the weaker vessel. Okay? So you you you, you just sitting there. If she's so so bold and strong, why can't she fight that man? Order. As it says, and I have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Okay? It just looked super duper sloppy, bro. <laughs> so, um, going back to Wisdom of Solomon 1, for, uh, so for, for forward thoughts separate from the power, so this place is completely separate from the Most High, okay, uh, Babylon, except for the remnant elect, all right, who are drawn nigh to the Lord, and the Lord is uh, going to require of his number. Okay, they're sealed. And his power sealed with Yahweh Shem Al Shai. All right, as he lacks souls. That's what I'm speaking about. And his power, when it is tried, reproveth or correct the unwise or rebukes the unwise. Right. If you test, of course, the power of the Lord, it actually reproved the unwise. And why? Do his word. For into a malicious soul, ill will soul, wisdom, prudence shall not enter, nor dwell in a body that is subject unto said. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee the seat and remove thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. And a, hey, as you see, that spirit that E is pushing out is not of the Holy Spirit. Okay, it's the spirit of Satan. Okay, people can be as what they wish to be and not as what they were created to be. All right, biblically speaking, this is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes chapter, because chapter in the prophet, part of original King James Bible, 1611, 25, 25, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman yet liberty or freedom to gad her troop abroad. Okay. And hey, with these women going abroad and we can going about on trains to whatever city, whatever different borough, hey, they running into judgment, directly into judgment. Signs of the cane of a society. This is Jeremiah 51 and verse, uh, it's probably like the last verse. And it says, and thou shalt say, thus shall Babylon sink. And shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her. And they shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Jeremiah. Okay. It says Babylon shall sink. Alright. And we know ultimately with the nuclear destruction. Uh, this place is already sinking. Alright. Shekwai. Which in the Hebrew means to sink or collapse. Alright. Abate meaning to strike down. Okay. Down. All the way down. <laughs> Quench. Okay. Being let down. Alright. So. Hey. Just get ready for more worse worse things. This is nothing. Okay. This is nothing. All right, um, the curses are upon you know these different heathen falling upon them. Hey, we got worse times to come. These cities are going to be troubled for the great pride that's, that is in it. So, giving all praise to the Abba Shemashai, Bashem Kukadush, and the Blonde Star Apostle, and the Great Millstone Peace, Sadjishti, Lake Shalom.